to Let's talk about the history of backstroke starts. Now, first things first, we know that backstroke is the only stroke that starts from an in the water starting position. But how did we get to where we are today with those backstroke starts? Backstroke was first added as an Olympic event at the Olympic Games in 1900. But even before that, early on in competitive racing and competitive racing and backstroke, we see that swimmers are using the back dive style of starting, looking not too unsimilar from what we do today. Now, most swimmers had to grip the wall because we didn't have starting blocks until 1936. And it really wasn't until the 1950s where we started seeing provisions or holes added to starting blocks so that backstrokers could grab up higher than the edge of the pool to use an advantage in their backstroke start. In the 1980s, we started seeing some backstrokers like Dave Burkoff push the boundaries of the backstroke start a little bit by putting their toes up on the top of the pad or in the gutter of the pool and holding the very top of the starting block rather than holding the provided backstroke bars. Not long after, FINA outlawed the standing backstroke start, requiring swimmers to start with their toes on the pad and their hands on the backstroke starting grips. And it wasn't until 2013 when FINA allowed the backstroke starting wedge to improve backstroker starting position in the water. In fact, at the 2013 World Championships, we saw so many elite backstrokers slip on the starts on the pads that they were using that it was kind of the, the spur that FINA needed to let backstrokers use a backstroke starting wedge. The backstroke starting wedge allowed backstrokers to put more weight directly over their feet, which in turn improved their ability to jump off the wall. 